Hey, y'all. What's up? I'm trying to get this lighting right. How are y'all this morning, afternoon? What is it? Afternoon? We are back. I'll wait for a few of you guys to get in. Y'all hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. I appreciate you guys. So, I guess I'll talk about um, until more people get in. If you like this makeup look, I just did a beauty video um, on my beauty channel, Ashira Star. I did link it below in the description bar as well as on the community section. So, you guys can check it out and subscribe to me there. I do hauls and beauty and makeup videos sometimes there. Um, thank you. Medina, I appreciate that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Good, good afternoon. Huh? So we are here today with my, I told you I was going to wear my little Michael Jackson pen type thingy. Um, we are here today to discuss how women choose to suffer and how it's very pathetic. And when I say choose, I mean choose, like literally make an effort to suffer. Okay, we're going to discuss this because this is, at some point, it's no longer brainwashing and it's now deliberate at some times. We can tell those women who like to suffer by some of the questions that they've been asking lately. And I say women who choose to suffer is because they know the answer to their problem. He said victim or volunteer. Exactly. They know what they got to do. Right. So this is what I mean when, when I talk about um, women that choose to suffer. They know what they're doing is incorrect and wrong, but they want to, you know, wallow in it for the attention. And they want to wallow in it because the only thing they can accomplish is the victimhood itself. And so we have to stop doing that as women because people can see straight through that now. It's no longer some type of mystery. Like I see straight on through it. I'm like, Psh, don't, please. You know, um, so it makes you look even more pathetic than the victim that you're trying to play. You know what I'm saying? And it's a turnoff and it also is a red flag and it also is dangerous because when men see this type of behavior in women it's also like a thumbs up to abuse them and it's a it's a thumbs up to treat them like trash because you're basically begging for it and then they want to go to move on to the next chick and think she's like you and she's not so um a lot of these women need to stop doing that and get a life Okay, get a life, baby. Level up. Victimhood and wallowing in, you know, your self-chosen suffering is not cute. <laughs> and we don't care. I know I don't. Um, and I wish that they will stop doing that and just go ahead and either level up or settle with your dusty. Either one, either way, do something. Okay. Either settle with that dusty. And go back to being pigmisha or level up. Okay. Don't sit there and wallow in your suffering, acting like you don't know what to do when there's what I don't know how many videos on the internet. So, um, and they ask questions like this. And don't get offended if you've asked this question. You may just need to look in the mirror and inside yourself and ask yourself, is this what you're doing subconsciously? If you ask yourself, questions or ask other people questions like, well, what do I do if I broke up with him and he keeps calling me back or he keeps trying to come back? That's one of those self-suffering um, women right there. Another one is, um, you know, what if, um, how, how, how can I forgive myself for dealing with a dusty? Just do it. Okay. Um, there's nothing to forgive. How can you forgive yourself for pooping in a diaper when you was a child because you didn't know how to use the toilet? That's how. OK, so the answers are too obvious and the questions are getting um, 
pretty pathetic when it comes to these types of women. And I wish that they would go and get a life or just level up something. And I, I, like I said, don't take offense. It's just for you to go analyze yourself a little bit deeper and try to figure out why you felt it was necessary to ask such questions when you already knew the answer. Okay. Is it, are you seeking attention? Are you seeking validation? Are you just looking for anyone to recognize you? The best way to do that is to look good. I promise you. The best way to do that is just to look good. That's all you got to do. You ain't got to make up some stuff. You ain't got to ask dumb questions that you already know the answer to. And, you know, you do that with men, not women. <laughs> okay? Because we, we, we see straight through that and we know the game. Um, and they won't accept the truth, right? Well, you know, I don't think they're looking for the truth. I think they're just looking for attention and to play the victim. And that's fine, but this is the wrong channel for that. <laughs> I'm sure other channels will go all into some deep forgiveness and self-healing stuff and tell you it's okay. And I'm going to just tell you, girl, the same way you forgave yourself for pooping on yourself as a child. That's my uh, quick fix, okay? If you need some more attention, I'm sure there's other... Um, channels that will love to sit there and pick you apart and analyze you. <laughs> what if pretty girl is in a wheelchair? Serious <laughs> question. Girl, then you better you better roll on by uh, looking cute. Okay. <laughs> Take the right. Stuart, did you used to get I gotta blow this up because I can't see it. Did you used to get stairs when he was out with James? Of course. Duh. That's what I was for. Attention. <laughs> you know, arm candy. They was looking at me, shoot. Oh, you mean like because he was older than me? Well, he didn't look that old. Not when I was 22. Okay. Now, I didn't care if I got steers because I got bills paid and I got cars and I got uh, <laughs> to retire early. So I didn't care. <laughs> I don't care what they're staring at. I'm glad they're staring. Shoot. They inspired after James got me and inspired his friends to go get him some them some youngsters. Dude, I got my I got a whole group of girls, some sugar daddy just by being um, one of the first ones in his friend group. They went and got something young, too. Okay. Um, everybody had a sugar sugar daddy, and everybody had a, a sugar baby. So it wasn't no big deal, because we all kind of hung out in the same area, the same spots. And so it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> um... <laughs> just give them the, it doesn't bother me because yeah everybody else was doing it too okay mm -hmm. the quick come up baby thank you i appreciate that so remaining in a bad relationship when you know it's bad and then you always want to talk to your friend or your relative about and complain about the man you're with, but you won't leave. That's also another form of choosing to suffer. So, and many women will tell you, it even if you have kids, um, if the if the guy that you're with is no good living there with you, then what's you know what do you think? It's going to happen to you eventually. He's going to drag you down or tire you out. And your kids definitely need you. <laughs> so, you know. How about reputation? I don't care about reputation. Like, y'all care about the dumbest, stupidest things. 
I, I swear. Go be broke and have a good reputation. <laughs> okay, have a good day. Go be broke and have a great reputation. Okay. Meanwhile, a reputation with who? Who cares? Are those people paying your bills? Are they saying you don't have to work anymore? Are they saying, here's my credit card? Are they saying, where do you want to go on vacation? Who cares what they think? I don't like, I really wouldn't care about other people's thoughts. That's the first thing you need to learn if you're going to level up. Stop caring about other people and what they think of you. That's just throw it away in the garbage can, take it out to the curb on garbage day. Okay? Leave it there and don't bring it back and stop asking these stupid questions. Okay? Because if you ain't ready, you're not ready. And I have to be a little bit tough today because it's like, what if, what if, what if, what if do you do that? Look, you ain't ready for it. Go date people who you're ready for. If you're not ready for the level up, if you're not ready to date up, if you're not ready to date older, then go have fun, you know? But don't come over here trying to ask dumb questions every single video that you already know the answer to. Who cares? What am I supposed to tell you? Oh, well, just write them an email and tell them, oh, don't worry about the old man I was with. Um, don't tell my mom or don't tell my, my friend or, you know, what am I supposed to tell you? Who cares? They're not paying for you, uh, you to care enough. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And it's not that I'm fed up. It's just that this is common sense. It's just common sense. And y'all already know the answers. And this is why I titled it this women who choose to suffer. You're, you're sitting there suffering because of what, other people may be thinking and not even what they are thinking, but what they may be thinking. So you are saying, I choose to feel embarrassed, self-conscious and suffer while I'm with this man who's probably going to pay all my bills because I would choose to. So if you don't care and you don't choose to, then you won't. Just stop caring. Nobody is really even staring at you that much. You're just self-conscious about it. Okay. Do you know how many old men are dating young women? Probably a lot. And probably most of them at one point in their life. <laughs> so get over it. It's not a big deal. I promise you. If you don't like it, then do not date old men. There's my answer. Okay. Um, if the man treats you good and he, he's giving you what you need, then who cares what other people think? Um, another thing, another way that people suffer is they use their circumstance. And, um, and I know many people are guilty of this. Don't feel bad. I'm not going to get on you too hard. Can I level up at, y'all know. And then they put an age up in there. What are you looking? What are you trying to get a, a free compliment? Oh, you're not old. Oh, you can still level up. Look, go look in the mirror and see what you can do with yourself. That's leveling up. Okay, go. Whatever you see, make it look ten times better. Okay. At any age, can I level up if? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Mean sprinkle, sprinkle. No, I don't. I don't purchase. I get sent stuff free from some other oud company. Jira, Ujira, Ujira, or something like that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. So, um, yeah. Please try to stick to the topic of the video as well. Uh, also, <laughs> the people that say. Is it possible for me to get a man if this, 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 and that? Do you have what a man is looking for? Do you have the main thing he's after? Because if you say you don't have that, he may not be looking for you at all. Okay? that would, That's going to be my answer. Well, do you have a 
beep. You have a kitty cat? Then yes, it's possible. Okay. <laughs> There's your answer. And the reason why I, I wanted to make this video is because maybe I should make a video is, do you know how to lie? And that will answer most questions. Do you know how to lie? You know lying is also an option. Right. Lying is an option for any situation having to do with men. There you go. <laughs> he slid in my DMs. Who slid in your DM, girl? So, um, if you're bad at something, we come better at it. You know, that as level up mentality go as far as level of mentality goes if you're not good at something improve at it there's your answer right practice you know work on it just like if you're not good at makeup watch some videos and some tutorials to get better at it there's no excuse you just don't stay the same you're supposed to be leveling up so if you're bad at lying well then get better at it <laughs> um Anatomy of a good lie. The anatomy of a good lie, right? It's not hard, ladies. Just make sure you look good and the rest comes easy. That's right. You got to put in that work on yourself. That's what you got to do. Practice that lie. So it sounds true. You're a guy and I love this channel because it's hilarious and so logical. You are a feminine woman who can think like a man, which is rare and interesting. Keep up the good work. Thank you, BH. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate you. Um, thank you. So, the yeah, the reason why I think I can think more on a man's level is because I've been married for so long and living with a man. <laughs> Okay, so I know what he think like. And I also feel that just by observing men in general and what they look for and what they look at and how they respond to certain things is also a good way to kind of learn how they think. Do you have to be good in bed too? No, because you ain't got to sleep with them. And if you just lay still, you good in bed to most men, okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> if you look good, you good. Right? I think people, I, I think women, I'm not going to say people. I think women do too much worrying. They're too self-conscious. They don't value themselves and they think too much and they overcomplicate everything. Okay. And then they don't know what they want. They like suffering. Highly emotional without emotional control. Yeah, all those things need to be worked on because that is where all your vulnerability is. And it's too many. It's too many vulnerable spots. It is. Fix them. Um, if you're a man, it's just like bowling. You got. And I'm going to add one more don't love themselves okay so it's like bowling you have 10 pins and you just sitting up here with all these vulnerabilities and the man got the bowling ball as soon as he comes in he just hits a strike every time so, because you set it up 
you keep setting yourself up just like a bowling alley. You just keep setting yourself right back up. And the man comes in and he bowls and y'all be mad. But y'all don't understand that when you act a certain way, when you um, choose to suffer, when you choose not to control your emotions, when you choose to be self-conscious about everything and care what everybody else thinks except for you, when you um, don't know what you want and are very indecisive, when all these things keep adding up, if you put one on top of the other and gave it to someone, do you think they would throw it in the garbage or embrace it? I'm just saying. Because this is the mental level up part. It's not, you know, you can look good on that. You can look good. But if you are a hot mess on the inside, as far as your control and your vulnerability and your worrying and your overthinking and your bad, you know, um, self-image and you can't control your emotions, it's not even worth it. So you have to be able to fix all of those things and balance them out because... I, I would throw it straight in the trash can on garbage day on the curb, okay, with a rock on top so it can't get out, okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> um, so y'all have to stop doing all that. It's not appealing. It is not appealing. Thank you, infamous. Um, soy mender cover. So I'm undercover. Okay. Thank you, Deanna. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, <laughs> you, I'm not answering no more stupid questions. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give y'all one good piece of advice, real good, so you don't have any regrets. Use cause and effect before you open your mouth. Use that. There's It's a universal law. Cause and effect. Be the cause to the effect you want to see. Okay? If you do something stupid, it's because you didn't think. Okay? Think before you speak. That's number one. Number one. What Think about what the result will be when your mouth is finished going like this before you even open it. OK, this is how you got to do it. Before you open your mouth. What result would you like to have after you stop talking? Then speak. OK. <laughs> This is very strategic and it will stop you from regretting everything you do. <laughs> okay. So write that down. Before I open my mouth, what result do I want? Then you go. Um, it helps when you can focus on solutions. Yes, that's right. What is your goal? Um, also, if you can't control what comes out of your mouth, then don't open it until you've thought thoroughly about what you're going to say and what you will not say. Okay, this is a problem with women. They just go blah, 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 blah. Diary of the mouth is what I call it. Thank you, Rose. Sure, I'm learning and you've helped me tremendously. Struggling with the emotional part, I realize how much I've been so, but now is it annoying? Yes. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yep. Um, yeah, men will try to use your own emotions against you. And so you cannot... You have to be in control of your own emotions, not someone else. Because if when you're not in control of your emotions, someone else is, and that means they control you. Okay. If you think of it, if you think about it like that, maybe it'll help you get control. Mm -hmm. 
your sister was going through financial issues lately and talked to her boyfriend about it and he called her irresponsible. <laughs> She's not sure what to tell him. Well, next time you try to get some, she's going to tell him, no, I'm too irresponsible to sleep with you. <laughs> How did I get rid of a Dusty who did not wish me on my birthday? What? How do I get rid of a Dusty who did not wish me happy birthday? The same way, I'm not answering that question, sorry. Do men value low and love and relationships or only good looks? I don't think they value love. I don't think they value some relationships. I know they value good looks for sure. <laughs> Depends on what type of relationship it is. <laughs> okay. Like, do they value friendship? Do they value roommateship? Do they value um, sexual uh, relationship? Do they value all three at the same time? Which one? Okay. So, also, roommate shit. Mm -hmm. I'm always concerned my doctor boyfriend is cheating on me. Need to put that thought. Yeah. If he's going to cheat, he's going to cheat. And there ain't nothing you can do about it anyway. Just think about it like that. There's nothing I can do, even if I, even if he was cheating and I didn't know, what can I do? You, there's nothing you can do. Just like he can't do anything if he thinks you're cheating because he doesn't know. Until you 100% know, then you really can't do anything. Mm -hmm. They value really, they value companionship and peaceful environment. Mm-hmm. True. Tell him you what? Sure, what do you think? What, what if you had a condition where you can't have regular sex? I don't know what condition that would be, but if you have that condition, I don't need I don't need that right now. It wouldn't matter because like I'd just be getting his money. And if he an old man, he don't care. He's going he gonna to do whatever you allow him to do. <laughs> and he's going to be happy to see something. <laughs> he's going to be like, just let me see it. Anyway. <laughs> What are y'all doing? Thank you. You will get away from him. <laughs> right. So, and I, I don't I don't know if it's truly just embedded culturally or just through media, all this self-suffering in, in these younger women. I don't understand this. And you know. If this is this real, no wonder men are upset that women are leveling up and getting smarter about how they, you know, view relationships. Because if it's this massive, then I understand why they're so upset at me and, <laughs> and other women who are given, you know, this information. Because if this is how many women are really this way, men had it made for sure. And I don't blame them for being mad if everybody was this pathetic. Thank you, PJ. Sprinkle, sprinkle. 
And could you imagine how men thought about us? No wonder they think we're stupid and dumb. Shoot. <laughs> I wonder I gotta act so good to be to play so stupid. Right? Because there's so many people, there's so many women who don't know any better. I, that's why I'm doing this channel to help. <laughs> but you can't stay there. You gotta get up and get out of that type of thinking. You gotta get up and move forward. You can't stay there and come on here and ask dumb questions from over there. Either get over here or stay over there. <laughs> it's okay. I just told you what dude said, y'all. I talked to these men and they're playing. Yep, they're playing y'all for real. It's a it's cultural, yeah. Y'all gotta break that. I mean, cultures change all the time. Society has conditioned women to be doormats. We need to fix it, all right? Recondition yourself. Recondition, recondition yourself to be the alarm on the door. <laughs> Look, you can't come in unless you got the, the, the right numbers, baby. And your bank account. Now you're no longer the doormat. Now you're the security system. <laughs> How do I get my man to look me look at you differently after you turn into a doormat? Level up all the way as much as you can. Look good every time you leave your house. Every time you are, you know, every, get up in the morning and get dressed, do your hair and makeup. Even if you're not going anywhere, you don't have to do it all glam but you need to do something with yourself you need to look like the type of woman that can go get a better man that's what you need to do and you won't be treated like a doormat anymore because every time you leave your house there's a chance that another man will approach you who will most likely treat you better if you don't continue to lay in front of somebody's door and say hey step on my back you know as long as you get your mentality the you know right See yourself as the prize. You know, I, I, I don't I think women can't help themselves sometimes, but to chase men. I, I really think women don't know when to draw that line and to step back and shut up and wait. Because I think women are so needy for attention and value and validation and love and all this kind of stuff because they don't give it to themselves. But they reach out way too quick, way too soon. They won't even wait for the man to respond before retexting. And it's like, dang, go go look in the mirror. Go put some makeup on. Go play in your clothes. You know, go take some selfies. Go do something, okay? <laughs> go, go to the gym. Write in your diary. Do something. Because it's it, it looks pathetic. And men just like, oh, yeah. She wants it. And then y'all come in here and ask me, well, how come he's always talking? Well, he wants to talk about sex because you over here texting him like a fool. What, you, what else would you want? <laughs> Thank you, Rose. She would, would you ever get braids? I think they would be super pretty on you. No, I would never get braids. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, but thank you. I appreciate it. So if, if he's like, why are you why are you texting me like 20 times a day? You must want you must you must want it, you know? And then when y'all meet up, he only wanted to talk about sex. That's because you didn't text him 20 times. What else do you want? What you looking for? <laughs> you know? So fall back on all of that and, and entertain yourself. Okay? And go entertain yourself. Uh, I do not want to date guys younger than me. I'm 16. Girl, finish finish high school, girl. Y'all have fun. I wouldn't date nobody younger than you either. They ain't got no car or no job. <laughs> <laughs> like if I was in high school, you're right. You're the older one. The juniors and the seniors, girl. 
I rarely talk about sex. He needs to start that conversation. <laughs> well, if you're just even texting, it don't even matter if you're talking about it or not. If you keep texting over and over, he must think you want something. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, unless a man is asking, what's my cash app? I don't take that's right. <laughs> Teenagers have your standards. Don't give it up. Date older teenagers that are legal who got cars and jobs <laughs> or parents with money, whatever. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's all y'all can do right now. Look good when you go to school. Okay, there you go. You said, if nobody wants you for a girlfriend, you have no choice but to do one night stand. That's why I want to know how to make a guy fall. You don't, guys don't fall in love. That's the, that's the first thing you need to figure it out. They fall in lust. And you know how they fall in lust? By you not giving it to them and they have to chase it. Okay. And you got to look good too. That's how. Then they may fall in love later, much later, but they fall in lust first, not no love. You, you look good, they want you, but they can't have you. They're going to stick around until they get you. And if you're smart, you're going to make them spend money while they're trying to get you. Then they've invested in you. And now they ain't going nowhere because they didn't put a down payment on you. Okay. You want a boyfriend? Don't give it up and make him spend money on you. There you go. If you're looking for sex in a one night stand, then go have fun. Use protection. Um, that's why, yeah. Thank you, Angeline. Have you seen the viral video that is going around? Her boyfriend bought her a fake Chanel bag. What do you think about it? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, thank you, Angeline. No, I haven't seen that video, but does it look super fake? Because <laughs> is that how she could tell? Because it was like a bad replica. Yeah, I would have been mad too. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have made a video about it, but I would have been mad. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to get with a guy that has everything, his own home, his own car, his own money. That's right. Yeah, I don't know. She cussed him out. Oh, my goodness. But why did she do that in, on a camera? Did he, like, give it to her and he was filming it and then she saw it was fake? Maybe. I don't know. I didn't see it. I would have been slick with it. I'd be like, well, if you were going to buy me a fake Chanel, you could at least put some cash in it. <laughs> or give it a fake wallet with it or something. Shoot. <laughs> she saw it was fake. I don't know. You better put some real money in this fake purse. Shoot. I'll take the fake purse as long as the money inside that you put in there is real. Right? Mm -hmm. You said if you weren't dating an older guy in high school, you weren't really popping. That's right, girl. That's right. She was crying about it. Oh, got me a fake Chanel. Girl, you know how he had to work to get that fake Chanel? He had to risk his freedom. <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> he had to risk his freedom. <laughs> um, I know how older men that lies about their age. Yeah, most of them do.
how to make a guy know that I'm high maintenance without mentioning money. Look it, look it, look it on your photos as well as in person. Like, do I look high maintenance today? You know I ain't cheap. I got this Michael Jackson peeing on. She, you know, I'm extra. Thank you, Cherry Bloss. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, why do people think being poor and suffering is inherently noble? It seems like a waste of time to be. Um, I think it. I think most people get it confused. Thank you for the donation, um, Cherry Bloss. I think most people get confused. Um, suffering is when you're trying trying to come up, not staying somewhere and suffering over and over. But through suffering, you're supposed to grow, not stay the same, or else it's called torture. You see? Thank you, Shell. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How should I handle a narcissistic provider? Um, By not caring what he's saying and just get his money. You know what I'm saying? Um, this question is asked a thousand times. Probably a million. I don't even know how many times people have asked that question. Who cares what he thinks? Who cares what he says? Is he giving you money? Then who cares? I don't care what he's saying because I'm not even listening. I'm just checking my bank account and I'm getting his money. Whatever is coming out of his mouth do not matter to me. Period. It's what I think of myself is what matters. This is how you have to think. You have to basically become a narcissist and love yourself and who cares what they think. If you can't do that, then work on it or leave him alone. Because I could care less what somebody's saying. I'll have a better comeback than what came out of their mouth in the first place because I don't care. <laughs> you know, that's how you got to be. Like whatever they're saying is not true, no matter what. It ain't true. And even if it is true, I don't care. <laughs> and I own it. Whatever. So, and that's how I feel about it. You know, own, own it or ignore it. You're trying to get better at life. You're a single mom. I hate my job, but the only way for me. Here is the situation. Let's go back to school. And girl, you finna go into a hole. Just go get a sugar daddy. Get the sugar daddy first. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You trying to do too much. That's why you, mm -mm. you got kids, a job, and you got to go back to school and find a sugar daddy. No, just go get the sugar daddy. You go. You can go back to school at 55, okay? Get the man first. That's going to give you the money so you can quit the job. And if you want to go back to school, go to school. Or you could start a business with his money. Okay? What, what are you doing? You, you're doing too much. Stop working harder and work smarter. <laughs> okay? You're working too hard. A, a Dusty just fainted after hearing all of that. Okay? A Dusty just fell, out, fell on the ground because he, hear, he heard all that that you're doing because that's too much work. Thank you, Ghost World. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Single mom with no job. When baby daddy left, I started watching your videos. I leveled up and found two sugar daddies. Looking for a third one. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Ghost World. Tell her. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's what you got to do. Okay. Just go get you the old sugar daddy. Quit your job. Get your money. Spend time with your children. Have a nice life. Then we, if you want to go back to school later, go ahead. Or you want to start your own business and skip school and start making money straight out the bat, go ahead. But y'all doing too much. Y'all got the wrong order. Nobody ever. They gave you a little box of options and you never looked outside of the box. Thank you, Amina. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What should I do? A man I talk to not giving up enough money. He a truck driver. He a truck driver. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's because he's a truck driver. <laughs> okay. Aim higher, baby. Aim much higher. Like truck driver, fleet owner, not truck driver, fleet owner. Okay. 
Ask him who was his boss name. Thank you, Nefera. Sprinkle, sprinkle. My man pays bills and rent and takes good care of me, but doesn't satisfy me. I'm sexually frustrated every day, which I do. <laughs> Imagine being broke and having to work. Do you think you'd be thinking about sex or being sexually frustrated if you had to get up early in the morning, sit in some traffic, you know, um, do what some boss telling you to do? Get home, you know, rush home, try to cook or whatever you're going to do or eat. You think you'd be looking for some sex then? <laughs> Somebody said, I'll take them. They sell, they sell products in the store for issues like that. You know, um, if he's just a selfish lover, if that's what you're saying. If he's a selfish lover, then tell him. Open your mouth. Talk. You need to do A, B, C, and D. If that's your man and y'all live together, can't you? Or yeah, I don't know if y'all live together, but I, can't you tell him? Do this instead, instead of that? <laughs> I think some people are embarrassed to say something or to teach them but after you you know been with somebody for a, a little while they don't mind they don't mind because they want they don't want to be doing all that for nothing whatever they're trying to do in the first place because that's a waste of their time if you're not happy so just tell them just be like do it in a nice way be like you know what i like when you do or i like it, it you know what i would like if you do this <laughs> And then he'll start to do it. That's all you got to do. Don't be embarrassed. Just tell him, look, do this. <laughs> do I have any advice for people who are afraid of starting their own business? Start off super small. Start. I would say start off by doing a Poshmark, which is like selling that stuff in your closet online through Poshmark. Start there. And when you get really good at that, they have a boutique section which means you can put new products on there or you can even buy products to sell on there from them. I'd buy my own stuff though. Like that's how I started my uh, level up cosmetics. I started on Poshmark. They do all the, the stuff for you, the printing. I mean, the, the shipping labels, all you gotta do is print it out from your phone. You can run Poshmark from your phone. Start off there. Then you can maybe get, get you an Etsy, Etsy shop. Then a Shopify, maybe. I don't know. Start off small. Grow it until you're comfortable with it and no longer afraid. Uh, most people are afraid of something because they don't know how it works or they don't understand it or don't have enough knowledge about it. So baby steps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taj is a great one. Yep. I'm a... I'm going to let that one show because they was trying to edit that out. Um, I think we've lost focus. <laughs> Let's keep our eye on the prize. That's right. Thank you, Percy. Hey, Percy, sprinkle, sprinkle. You just came to say love the hair, Shira. And hey, also you beautiful subs. Oh, thank you, Percy. I see you back. Oh, he didn't put a picture up there. Now he on a, let me see what you look like, Purse. Percy. Okay, he got on a black jacket, some jeans. What's that over your head? It's a picture. Okay. You chilling? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. This wig is on Level Up Cosmetics. You will see me in this wig on the website because they used me as a model. Just type in blonde and then hit search and all everything with blonde in it will pop up and I'm gonna pop up on Y wigs like the letter Y wigs.com and then use my coupon code it is below just scroll down a little bit and you'll save ten dollars sprinkle sprinkle I rather have just cute regular purse oh for the Chanel purse I wouldn't, you know, I would have, like, I don't know. 
if I know I was being like videoed, I would have pretended it was real. And then when he, when he stopped filming, I would have been like, you know, it's fake, right? <laughs> You motivate me to bypass the surgery to be skinny and level up, girl. Well, you know, I'll say this. If you can lose weight without doing all of that, then you should do it because it's it's healthier. And it'll teach you the, you know, the habits so you won't regain. But I don't know. Everybody needs help. So, you know, if that's the best way for you, if, if it's not, then... I think you'd be more proud of yourself and your confidence will be higher if you do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I think it will. I think if you accomplish it, you'd be more proud of yourself. And and a lot of that insecurity that came with, you know, that comes with being overweight, it has time to fade away in 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 phases, you know. But if you just, you know, go get a surgery, wake up, and three weeks later, you skinny <clears throat> or thinner, you still have to adjust. And then you have to, then you have to adjust to, you know, losing the ability to just eat the food that you want. So it's, it's, a, it's I know a lot of people that had that surgery and it was terrible for them. Some people it was good. Some people it was bad. I don't know. Now, I guess it just depends on who you are. Thank you, Percy. That's an old picture. You have muscles now. Oops. Why you post the old picture then, Percy? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. He trying not to be thirsty over here because he don't want y'all trying to find him. I understand, Percy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> he said he got muscles now. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You said too late. <laughs> so I'm trying to think like when you meet a woman, you say, do you tell her that or is this your is this your real name, Percy? You say, Hi, my name is Percy. I, I kind of like that name, you know. It's like it's a, it's a little different. It got a little sauce on it. But also, it's like, <laughs> right. As long as your last name don't start with a P, it's nice. Yeah, Master P. Percy Miller. <laughs> Percy Jackson. <laughs> Don't tell him your last name. Okay. First time on your live, new subscriber. Oh, thank you, Jasmine. Welcome. Sound like you wear a pocket protector? Shoot. That's good. I mean, he's smart. And that's another thing, like, men who are smart, who are nerds, who are a little bit awkward, those are the best ones. Y'all be missing. Y'all be going after the, the ones that's going to be mean to you. You like it because it sounds like a purse. <laughs> I got me a Percy. I got me a bag. Nope. No. That's that's not nice, but, you know, I, I see the similarity. <laughs> but honestly, Y'all need to stop overlooking some some of these guys because being with a woman like you may bring out whatever they have not released yet. You know what I mean? Their confidence may just shoot up to the sky and they may just turn into the type of man you want. Okay. Like Norbit. Y'all remember Norbit? <laughs> yeah, that movie Norbit with Eddie Murphy and Rasputia.
<laughs> yeah, he had to stand up at the end and be a man. <laughs> okay. Like Steve Urkel. Yeah, he had to turn into Stefan, okay? He finally got Laura. He's like, I gotta be Stefan now. I can't be no Urkel no more. <laughs> Got competition, okay? So you never know what you can make. Like the the dude, you know, the guys out there here, they are already successful. They may be nerdy, they may not have no swag, they may not be, you know, conventional. But if they gotta compete to keep you, you don't know what they're gonna do. Well, if they, they know you can have, they know they can have you, they're gonna have to try to keep you, and there you go. How do you get a man that's recently was divorced? Wait a couple of years until he's had his fun. <laughs> because a man that's recently divorced is not getting right back into no type of relationship or marriage. Unless it's for fun. Like the relationship, not the marriage. That's why I say stay away from newly divorced people. They're just trying to have fun. <laughs> After about two years... They'd be ready to come back around and try a relationship again. Thank you, Ariana. Sprinkle, sprinkle. My sugar daddy paid all of your bills for up to a year. Is it okay to be intimate now? I don't know if he wants to yet. Girl, wait till he's trying to get it. Don't don't give it up too soon. But that's good that he paid all that up for a year. I'm proud of you. Um, Ariana. That's wonderful. See what he gets you for Christmas, darling. What did you what did you put on your Christmas list? Don't give it up yet. Especially if he's not trying to get it. Do not try to get it to him. <laughs> Maybe he wants to lavish you first, you know? So that when he does ask, you'll be like, whatever you want, baby. <laughs> okay. The title is harsh because there's so many women out here that are just looking for attention through suffering. Yeah. Because we all know what to do. And it's, it's not that we don't know what to do. It's that. We want to hear someone else say it 50 times before we even think about doing it before changing our mind and staying in the suffering. You know, if you, if you about it, be about it. I posted that Beyonce snippet on my Instagram. If they don't talk about it, be about it. If you want to level up, start today. Don't start Monday. Don't start tomorrow. Start right now. Okay. If you're going to start something, start right now. Even if it's just thinking and writing down ideas or um, writing a plan up to get out of your suffering, or to improve something, even if it's just writing stuff down to execute, do that. Don't say, I'm going to start on the new year. All right. That's like the biggest cop out. Start today, right now, right after the sentence. Mm -hmm. That way, you can't say I'm going to start because you're already started. You already own your level up, and it'll just get keep you motivated. Is it okay to ask what you get me for Christmas? Yeah, it sure is. Especially, if, <laughs> yeah. Or you can tell him what you want for Christmas if you know he hasn't gotten you anything. Hold on a second, she ref pause. This my baby person talking about what? <laughs> he sent me 200 on Cash App. I got to see what he's saying. Everyone talking to too much. Y'all let her talk to Percy. <laughs> Say, hold on a second. Percy, you done sent her $200? She must look good. <laughs> 
buy some level of cosmetics. My lip gloss is wrong. Yes, y'all get this level of cosmetics. That's what I got on. I, I mixed these two colors together to get this beautiful color. This is doll and boutique. And my level up vintage um, liquid creamy lip lip sticks, lip colors, whatever you want to call them. So this one is boutique. It's like a nudish color. And they're glossy and creamy. And then this is doll, and I just mix them together and make this really cute, like salmon color. Um, the links are below to Level Up Cosmetics. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And I do ship out of the U.S. for the cosmetics. So if you don't live in the U.S., you can still order. Um, send me money, please. That, see, Percy, see what you done did? Why, and why would you tell somebody that he sent you all that money? Now they're going to be all after him. See what happens? Percy knew what he was doing. Percy knew what he was doing. If I tell one woman that has a big mouth who will tell everybody I've sent her $200, I'm going to have 20 girls instead of just one. Girl, now you got look at all the competition you just created. Better hope none of them look better than you. <laughs> okay. What lingerie what business would I choose? Lingerie or candles? I would say lingerie because and candles, shoot, do them both. What you doing? Why you got to choose one? Have a lingerie come with the candle. And name the candles some sexy names like G-string ginger. I don't know. <laughs> Combine it. That's a great idea. Okay, you're welcome. Send me some free. There you go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, <laughs> oh, I got a good idea. Get them candles that it's like hot wax. It's like a special candle. They sell it in like the adult store. Instead of like a regular old candle, get them wax pour candles that, that are scented. Okay, do that. Um, <laughs> you said nobody sent me nothing. Oh, it's Christmas time. Percy was being nice, right? I didn't get anything. I'm dead serious. Okay, well he he must he must have got scared. <laughs> Maybe he'll send it to you later when you least expect it. Oh, my cash up is oh y'all y'all are so silly. You said Percy sound like an old man with a news cap and a cigar in his mouth. That's the best kind. Um, what color is Siren Red in your collection? Siren Red is a beautiful, beautiful red. I'll show you. It's my most popular color. Um, the rake is more of a blue-based red. So if you like a blue base, get the color of the rake. And this is Siren. It's it's also a little bit blue base, but it has a touch of like, you know, orange. But it still is blue base, but it's more orangey than rake. Okay, but it's, it's still blue base. It's just a little bit lighter and brighter than um, rake. So... Level of cosmetics. I'll show you rake compared to it. It's barely any difference. It's just it looks better um, with different, you know, undertones. That's why I chose two reds because you can't just have one red. See, this is rake, and 
it's more of a, you see the, the blue in it? It's a little, just slightly darker. Okay. So, and it's a match. These are high quality uh, lip colors, so. And look at the casing, isn't it beautiful? It's very elegant. <laughs> So oh, yes, so those are the difference. And then also, um, this is I'm over here. Charmer is also like a blue-based pink. And uh, I want to open up all of them. But thank you, Mel. Thanks to you, Sheer. I listened to your advice. I have a sugar daddy and never been happier. I went perfume shopping last week, among many other things. Um, 37, very good looking, UK size 16. Okay, girl, sprinkle, sprinkle, get your um shop on. I don't know what size 16 is in the UK size, but um, sprinkle, sprinkle, good for you. How to make a guy know I'm high maintenance, but I don't have luxury clothes face baby keep your nails nice if you, even if you have to cut them short and just polish them and do them yourself just keep them keep everything about you polished you know what I mean even if it's not expensive just make it look polished okay like you really care about yourself make sure everything's clean not wrinkled smell good you know um monochromatic colors when you don't have a lot of money for clothing if you wear like a monochromatic color scheme like all the same color it looks more um stylish and expensive yeah confidence yeah he said iron your clothes make sure they're not faded no rips da, 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 da. yeah Should I cover my nose ring with makeup? I don't know you can cover a whole nose ring with makeup. Can you take it out? I don't know. I, I, I guess. Maybe make it into a fake mold. I don't know. You love hearing success stories? Yeah. They're, I, you know what? I might do like maybe one day where we can have somebody do a split screen and talk about their success and the level up and what they've done and all this. Maybe we can do that in the new year or maybe over the holiday season. We'll see. How can people scam you through Cash App if they have your handle? I don't know. Maybe they can figure out the password, but they still have to text your number if you try to if you try too many times I don't know I have no idea or if they ask you the questions to your security answers and you was dumb enough to give them out <laughs> and you know a lot of a lot of people do this they'll ask you to they'll go down the list of all the security questions that um, a lot of websites ask to you know get a new password and you'll be dumb enough to answer them and then they'll go in there and get <laughs> um so be aware you successfully got a purse from him i'm unmarried and with eight kids but at least i got a purse okay who cares if my wop is dry and look? <laughs> well at least you got the purse hey sprinkle sprinkle joe eight kids i know that's a troll but we'll play along <laughs> sure how do you turn random generosity into monthly allowance set up. It's after, right after he gives it to you the first time, say, well, ah, thank you so much. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do for next month. Okay. 
okay? Or every time he calls you or texts you and asks what you're doing, trying to figure out how I'm going to pay these bills next month. There you go. Or trying to figure out how I'm going to do A, B, C, and D next month. And how do you get your rent paid by looking cute and aiming at the right target of man? Get you an old man. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Here, here's the thing. The older the man is, the longer he's used to waiting for sex. So he'll wait forever <laughs> or a long time. He know he got to spend because he's old. That's how, okay? <laughs> it's just easier if y'all are trying to get money out of these young guys and i'm not i'm not gonna waste my breath or my time okay i'm telling you how to get it out of old men because it's fast quick and almost guaranteed <laughs> Sheila, how do I get the private doctor I want? The private doctor you want? What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> I, I would be, I'm too scared of doctors. I'm not scared they're going to shoot me up with something while I'm asleep. Do some medical experiments on me. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't see old guys in a romantic light. We ain't looking for romance, baby. We're looking for cash, money, lifestyle, cars, house, business, down, down payments to cars, business startup money. Like, I don't care about no romance. Like, romance yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Percy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sure, you already have everything. What do I get you for Christmas? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Percy. <laughs> um, you, you're right. I do already got all this stuff. I don't know. What would I want? Hmm. <laughs> would you pay my uh, taxes from the IRS? <laughs> Just kidding. Um. I don't know. Just give me something of Michael Jackson's that he can touch. There you go. go. Go on eBay and find something of Michael Jackson on. I'll take that. <laughs> These eye drops in because of life. A, a Michael Jackson souvenir or maybe an original Michael Jackson something. That's what I want. Some memorabilia. Go on eBay. They got a bunch of Michael Jackson stuff. I've been eyeballing some stuff on there. Somebody didn't already bought the stuff, a lot of the stuff that I want to. <laughs> when you got it, let me know. I'm going to give you my P.O. box. How can I get me a sugar daddy without giving him any sugar? Don't give it to him. Make sure he old. Older men won't try to get it quick because they're used to waiting. Okay. Sure, I have all the money and cars, but I still have no man and feel empty and lonely. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you need a richer man. Maybe you need a man with an island. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just need to lie about all that you have so you can get a man who wants to impress you. Mystery is the key to seduction. That's right. Sure, I don't like working to save my life. I just don't sit well 
It don't sit well with me. I, it didn't sit well with me either, unless I was working for myself. You said invest in counseling. <laughs> no matter what you feel that way, unless you look you. That's right. From my experience, an older men were so much more eager, pushy, and disrespectful of boundaries. Girl, that's probably because you chose the wrong one. And you probably think older is five years older or, t or 10 years older. I'm talking old. <laughs> okay. I don't know. What you, what, what's your definition of older? 10 years? Five years? I'm talking 25 years. 20 to 25 <laughs> years older. Thank you, one D sailor, Sprinkle Sprinkle. One DC sailor. You're a good sport. I know. I'll be trying. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> but your scenarios are too bad. We can tell they're fake. You got to work on them lies. Stop using WAP. That's a dead giveaway. And eight kids is too many. Five is believable. Okay. I'm just trying to help you fix it. <laughs> There you go. And you don't have to say your WAP is loose. If you've had five kids, that's obvious. Okay. We don't have to. Or eight kids. How many kids you, fake kids you got? That's like saying high value man. You ain't got to say high value or high value Bentley. We know it's, we know it's a Bentley. We know it's a high value. <laughs> But thank you. I appreciate the donation. You know, work on work on them fake questions. <laughs> Shira, what camera do I use? I use a computer. I'm on a laptop. MacBook Air. They have rejuvenation <laughs> yeah they got surgery for it so that was a question the troll question is also like a question to feel sorry for yourself even if you have a lot of money as a woman and you feel empty inside and you just want a man and you're already successful You're going to have to find an extra masculine man who doesn't mind that you're successful, like someone that does like a real rugged job and you don't care if he's broke. Like a lot of successful women will get like with a fireman or with like some type of um, mountain climber or something, something like that. Adventurer dude. I don't know. Like you got to find somebody that's really ultra masculine and doesn't care about money. You know? <laughs> a skydiving instructor or something I don't know one of them crazy type of people <laughs> you want to dye your hair blonde girl just get a wig you can what A spiritual dude, but unfortunately, guys that should that know the woman has more only care about her money. He date a broke girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If you get a man who's used to dating women with money, who really don't care about money because he got enough money to you know do what he actually wants to do, leave what he wants to leave. He ain't a dependent dusty. <clears throat> and he has whatever he needs and he knows he can pull another woman with money if he wanted to da, 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 da. he's not really materialistic then that would probably be the ideal man for a woman someone that was really into what he was into like um like some type of scientist or researcher or some type of professor or something stupid like that <laughs> They're not stupid, but you know what I mean. A very intellectual, highly intellectual person. You know what I mean? 
a very high intellect person would not really care about a lot of money because they could make they would be making enough money and highly highly intellectual people would rather um learn and like do stuff that had to do with knowledge and travel versus spending money on brand name this and cars and stuff like that you know what i mean they're too smart so those things wouldn't appeal to them so then you'd have to get someone with a super high iq mm -hmm. would you be willing to participate in one of those real housewives of wherever you live nope i like my freedom and my time um I don't like being on a schedule unless I made the schedule. So, no. I could never. Like, because, oh, we got to film. You got to do this. You got to say this. You got to wear this. Put this product in. We're going to be there at 4 o'clock in the morning. No, you're not. I like my privacy in my life. and. <laughs> And I don't want to have to be told to do a fake fight and act ratchet. I don't want to have to be told to do that. No. <laughs> yeah, those shows are very scripted. And I don't want them to put a pound of makeup on my face or it look like cake icing. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um... <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that looks like some good cake icing. So creamy and thick. I know that's right. I control me on my schedule. Right. Like that kind of like fame does not appeal to me whatsoever. Sprinkle. The coon nursery says, sprinkle me in. There you go, sprinkle, sprinkle. Tell her to get it. What? Y'all talking to each other. Okay. My friend is pregnant, but should a woman get an abortion if she knows the dad won't be in the child's life? Is the dad paid? <laughs> his child support going to be in her life or the child life? If he ain't paid, something to think about. But if he got money? His, his money can be in her life, the child's life, and the mama's life. Do I even want a man? I got I got a husband already. You mean, do I want another man? How much money that other man got? Thank you, Freedom 911. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He's sure. Do you? Are you, he dusty? Oh, well, I guess you know the answer to that. Uh -huh. Sure. Do you think it's okay to post pics with lingerie on it as long as you have a lingerie store? I mean, I could see that working as long as you look good in the lingerie and it's not um, very ratchet like photos. <laughs> If it's classy, like you know how they do the pinup looks and it's very classy versus ratchet, I would aim for classy versus ratchet. Thank you, Mel. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Shira is the blank, no lie. Rewind and come back, watch her videos. You will be the bomb, ladies in the room. Thank you, Mel. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, tasteful, classy. What is my opinion on women smoking weed? What do you think it would be? <laughs> but I know you already know the answer. What if you were given the choice to be MJ's wife for the cost of fame? MJ never stays married to his wives. <laughs> Okay, I've seen a pattern. <laughs> huh? 
how do you respond to men who claim we women lose value as we age? No, they just can't afford us as we get wiser and wanting better things in life. <laughs> okay, that's what I was fond of. We don't lose value. Their income just doesn't go up enough to afford us. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So they have to say something. Because <laughs> to an old man, let me tell you, a 35-year-old, a 45-year-old, even a 50-year-old to an old, old man is very valuable. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Lebo Le Gang. Sure, please advise I got carried away and went kissing and touching on my sugar daddy. Can I slow things down or should I just drop girl? At least he know you like him, so he may, he may be more li liable to spend. Just don't don't sleep with him. Not yet, anyway. No. That's a good enough reminder that you may sleep with him. He might just get him to spend more. Mm -hmm. She would, do you support staying with a narcissistic provider? I'm too narcissistic to even notice that someone else was, was being narcissistic. So, of course, I would stay because I wouldn't even notice. We would just be going back and forth until it became funny. You understand? This is what I mean by victim mentality. How can they be narcissistic when you have a mouth? Like, I'm just curious. How, how does how is someone how is someone even narcissistic to anyone that has a mouth? I mean, you can't say something. You can't speak. Like his his narcissism is only a statement that can be responded to. See how y'all make something that's not real. He's only probably narcissistic to certain people who don't speak up. He said, narcissists don't listen, don't matter. Neither do I. That's why we don't have a problem. <laughs> okay. If it's something that's not true and I don't want to hear, I ain't listening. That's how you solve that problem. If you believe every word he says and you sitting there listening and absorbing it, well, that's your fault. That's your problem. That's the victim mentality. He could call you all type of stuff, tell you you ain't nothing all day. But if you, you don't believe it, then it doesn't matter. The words aren't true. He's just wasting air speaking. Because if you know yourself and you love yourself, it's like, okay. Why you always lie? <laughs> you know? Or, well, then what does that say about you since you're with me? I'm so this and that. Is that the best you can do? Obviously, I am. So you better apologize. <laughs> okay? Ain't nobody going to be narcissistic around me. They're going to be mad. You're not very smart. I'm better than you. You need me to survive. It's all about me, me, me. I don't care about you. What are you writing down? The number to a good therapist, darling. Tell them I sent you. There's no way anybody can be narcissistic unless you allow them to be. Oh, you understand? We would just end up laughing because I would call them out on every attempt. When should you sleep with a man when he didn't put a bunch of money on um, a down payment on a relationship with you? Like when he spent thousands of dollars and he ain't going nowhere after he hit it because he's invested so much money. That's when.
Think about this. How many people would be buying cars and crossing the border if the down payment was cheap? Super cheap, like $200. How many people would have Ferraris and Lamborghinis? <laughs> you think they coming back to that dealership to pay them or paying them dealerships the money online? Are they fleeing to Mexico to sell that thing and buy a new identity? <laughs> Thank you, Moonlight. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm from a date with a daddy dressed all the way up to ask for Christmas present. End of night, he begged me for my monthly expenses to take care of. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. He begged you for your bills. That's what I'm talking about. Can you please pay your bills? <laughs> Off topic, why do desperate, why do people think MJ's kids are his biological children? I don't know, because he looked white. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They, 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 maybe they don't know what he looked like before the bad album. I don't know. Or the dangerous album. I don't know. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah. <laughs> they only they only know what he looked like in the, the 90s. And the <laughs> Thank you, Percy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You are 39. Am I too young to be a sugar daddy? <laughs> to who? The 20 something year old, if you spending, I, I guess you ain't too young. <laughs> Thank you, Percy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Never too young, Percy. Never too young. They say never too young, Percy. Oh, you mean too young for me? Probably. Well, you're not, you only, you said 39. You're only a couple years younger than me. You can lie about your age and say you older. That money still spends the same. That's right. Baby mama is only accepting acceptable if you trap a millionaire of yep. So Y'all have to stop. Um, Y'all have to stop playing the victim and take your power. Your power is in your looks, your assumptions. You're playing dumb, and your self value. Okay, if you work with all of these things. <laughs> You could get pretty much what you want. If you don't have self-value, if you're looking for something that probably doesn't exist, then you're probably going to strike out a lot. Mm -hmm. I have a real dead and empty look inside my eyes. Thank you. This is how I get my money. Okay. Do you think business people are emotional? Do you want to see me come alive to get this money too? Hi. Oh my God, it's so cold outside. How are you? Yes. So, so tell me about your day. I want everything. I'm just so excited to be here. You look even better in person. Oh, I'm a part-time receptionist. Did I come alive for you? Did I come alive enough for you? Did my, did my eyes look live then? Okay. I'm, a, I'm alive, but I'm dead. I'm alive, but I'm dead. <laughs> anyway, the dead look is for for business, baby. 
I'm handling my business right now. Shira, can you act out how to ask for expensive gift? Let me get my mouse ready. Copy Amazon link or link from website. Go to email, hit paste, and send. Send them the link of what you want. You can send it in the phone too. You can go like this. Click, click, click. Send it straight to his messenger, to his messages, to his DM, whatever. Send a picture of it with a link. Swipe up on Instagram. Tag him in it. Whatever y'all got to do. That way he gets it right. <laughs> there are a lot of hurt women who follow you. Well, they won't be hurt for long. If they keep following. <laughs> you know what? You know what heals better than anything? Getting a man to pay all of your bills and not having to work anymore. You know what else heals everything? Leveling up out of whoever hurt you lead so that you will ask yourself, what did I ever see in that loser? Okay. You know what else heals? When you have high standards and no longer have to deal with dust. Like, oh no, we don't do dusties over here anymore. That's so old, old school. That's so 2020. <laughs> That's so 2019. I'm, I'm leveled up now. Don't go into 2021, dusty ladies. Don't bring that over here. Don't bring that over there into 2021, girl. Don't leave. Don't, don't come into 2021, Dusty. <laughs> Someone found what? Okay. This channel has transformed my life for the better. Oh, thank you, Arena. How do you feel about manifest, ma manifesting men? As long as they got money. <laughs> Don't manifest no broke man. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Be very... Be... <laughs> I always break up with someone on December 31st, New Year's vibes. <laughs> Oops. If a man calls me a princess or a gold digger, I take it as a compliment now instead of an insult. Me too, girl. I'm like, okay. I'm so glad you noticed. Now I don't have to give you the speech. What else would I be digging for, darling? If you just go ahead and own it, they like it. Or if they can't afford it, they run. But at least you don't have to pretend. <laughs> Some guys like that you're a gold digger. That means... It's hard to get at you. When 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 it's hard to get at you, that means it's hard to steal you. If someone wants to commit to you or to claim you as theirs, it's going to be very hard to steal you away from them. That's why they like it. And plus, it's a status symbol. I got me a gold eagle. She ain't missing with no broke. broke. <laughs> Guys saying boring when I realize I'm not going to sleep with them. That's because you got to tell them you are going to sleep with them and they never do. You got to keep them excited with a false lie. I mean, with a lie, I guess it's false if it's a lie, right? You got you to gotta let them think that it's going to happen one day. You keep hope alive. Well, you can't just tell somebody, I'm never going to sleep with him. Then I don't want to be with you. Bye. You have to say, oh, let's get to know each other better. Believe me, it's going to be much better and more exciting and intimate. Knowing you ain't ever going to sleep with him. And just, just keep telling him that. Thank you, Percy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sure, I got to go and get to the bag briefcase. 
Before I go, can you pretend I'm your sugar daddy? You need some new tires. Okay, first I'll do that. How was your day? That's good. Oh, I'm okay. Just got some bad news. I need four new tires on my car. And you know, tires are so expensive, Percy. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get this money. My friend said to start an OnlyFans account, but I'm too classy for that. Anyway, finish telling me about your day. <laughs> What's OnlyFans? I don't know. Strippers use it. And like people on Instagram, but um, strippers. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do it though. I'll, I'll have to find another way. All right. Yo, cute person. Where's my money? <laughs> Thank you, Leash. Leashy Sprinkle Sprinkle. Um, love you, Shira. How do you respond to men who keep asking personal questions on dates? By having some answers already that ain't true <laughs> sprinkle sprinkle or changing the topic or being very seductive in a way so they can't focus on even trying to get the answers from you <laughs> my tires what's the most expensive tire that's the kind of car I have. And I have to get insurance on them. What is the best way to respond to what are you looking for? Be vague. Yeah. I'm not really looking for anything in particular. I'm just, you know, allowing myself to just be in the moment. I mean, if we're going to get along and we have great conversation, you know, who knows? That means I don't have any plans for you. And I don't have any list for you to follow to try to trick me into getting in my pants. So you're just going to have to keep trying to impress me. And you can't play I'm looking for a wife game because I didn't tell you I'm looking for a husband. And you can't play I'm looking for a long-term relationship game because I never told you I was looking for a long-term relationship. I'm saying I don't know because I don't know you. I'm not looking for anything in particular because I haven't found anyone yet to be looking for anything from. But you don't say that. You just say, oh, I'm living in the moment right now and just seeing where life takes me. Mm -hmm. I'm very open-minded and, you know, whatever... you know, should blossom from anything, I would be all right with that as well. And if, even if it doesn't, I'm still, you know, having a great time. This means, oh, dang, she ain't, she, she got game. I'm going to have to impress this one. <laughs> How do you level up from being a sex worker? Um, from being one, you're gonna have to be the total opposite of one after that. Because you want to you gotta do the total opposite. You lived that long as a sex worker, now you gotta live long and you don't sleep with nobody unless they, you know, unless you want to, and they paying all the bills, you don't work, you retire, da da da. Because it'll be too easy to slip back into it. So you got to be the total opposite. Dress the total opposite. Think the total opposite. Talk the total opposite. <laughs> Still use the game. 
but you're going to have to be on the whole other side of the spectrum. Okay. Thank you. I'll get them likes up. I appreciate it. Why would a man ask me if my insurance went up after my birthday? To see if you'd lying about your age. I've been there too. That's a great question. Stuart, do you need you need to create a sugar daddy sugar baby app or website? <laughs> I don't have sex no more. That was a breadcrumb. What? Okay, good. That was for breadcrumb. Sure, you need to, yeah, uh, I don't need to create the website or the app. I think people just need to get out there and go do stuff and get out in the real world. That's where you'll meet people at. People on app, like, here's my thing. You can meet people on apps all day. And as many people have. But there's an agenda in mind. When you get on an app, and everybody knows this, it's easier to get money if you meet in real life. You know, but if you just have to be online, you got to be online. And you can get catfished on there. You're... How can I improve my emotional control by seeing the results before you emotionally respond? What will happen if I act a fool? Okay, that's terrible. I'm not going to act a fool. Instead, I'm going to strategically plan out what I'm going to do and how I'm going to benefit from what this person has done to make me feel this way. That's how you control emotion. Instead of screaming and crying and texting a thousand words, you say, if I do all of that stupid stuff I'm about to do, how will this person respond? How will they see me? Stupid, crazy, insane, over-emotional. Probably going to break up with me and ghost me or something, right? So I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is pretend like it doesn't bother me at all and go ahead and pick out whatever I need him to buy me in order for him to properly apologize to me so when he comes begging for another chance I have the link to go ahead and send him or I can tell him to meet me at the mall or I can give him my stack of bills see so and when you don't emotionally respond when a man has acted up he knows you're serious he knows you are planning to move on and leave him in the dust. So he's going to come back ready to do whatever you need him to do in order to get your forgiveness if y'all are in a relationship of some sort. Okay? Because emotions mean you really care about this person enough to write a, a thousand word text, to text a thousand times, to curse them out, to cry. It means you like them way more than they like you. And they still know that they have power over you because they're not doing that for you at all. And you look desperate. So that's how you control emotion. Think about how you look and how he thinks about you and what you can't take back and what you're gonna lose Think about all those things and then it'll stop you from being so emotional all the time. What if it's the woman that acted up? What do you mean? What if it's the woman that acted up? Oh, you mean like if you messed up, then you need to if then you need to either deny it or own it. Whichever one is most beneficial. You got you got to learn how to do that. Act like it's no big deal, whatever. Like 
I did not do that. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> they don't have any real proof. Deny, 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 just like they do. They got the proof. Then this, if they have the proof, I'm like, well, you know. He was offering, and then you tell him this dude was offering something that he don't offer. Well, you know, my car is old and raggedy, and he said that he was going to, you know, put a down payment on a new car, and I, and I know you can't. So I need me a car, shoot. How am I supposed to get around and do my stuff, and my own man can't help me get a car? And I'm sleeping, sitting here sleeping with you every day for nothing. You could be like, well, you just want him for his money? Yeah. I mean, I need a car. You going to drive me everywhere? You going to pay for the car? No, you're not. Then you're going to be like feeling real bad. Like uh, my woman had to go out in the streets so she could get a down payment. I feel so bad. <laughs> I was going to dump him anyway after I got the car. She then he'll know it was nothing. There was no love involved. He was just using him for the money for this car and that you're totally detached from this person. And then it would be like, he won't see it as such a big deal anymore. But he's going to try to get you some money for your car too at the same time. And you get away with it. <coughs> or if he can't take it, then he'll be gone. <laughs> Then you start crying because <laughs> then, then you cue the emotions. I didn't want to cheat. And I didn't want to leave you because you was broke. Or stingy with your money. Okay. A down payment on a new car, why not buy it outright? Yeah. They could if they could if they if they put it in, in my name, shoot. If they trying to buy it in their name, no, nope, they can just put the down payment and make them monthly payments. Build up my credit for me. Hire. So I can buy whatever I want. Okay. If you buy a car straight off the lot, it, de it it depreciates as soon as you drive it off. It's worth more if you get it insured and make the payments to build your credit. And then you can, like, after you pay for a little bit of it, then you can just pay the rest off. Mm-hmm. Why do they care when you don't? Because that means you've probably started moving on to another man. <laughs> then they want to care when they don't have you anymore. Sure, what are your thoughts on the transfer of energy during sexual intercourse? Is it worth it? Is the man worth it? Is there something? Is, is, do you want his energy? Does he got rich energy? Smart energy? <laughs> game and he got he got energy you like you would you like does he have energy you want and like <laughs> does he got broke energy dusty energy <laughs> mm hmm you said soul ties that's all I'm gonna tell y'all to if y'all gonna sleep with somebody, sleep with somebody that has what you want. <laughs> so you know how to get it. Okay. Mm. If you're one of those people that only 
success turns you on, you won't success and intelligence turns you on, and you can't really go wrong with who you sleep with. Unless they like a psychopath and crazy. But you probably that way too. Mm -hmm. Yep. I ain't sleep, you know. If you're going to do that, do that with someone who has something you want. Mm -hmm. Am I a Capricorn? No. I'm a Pisces. What days and times do you do lives? This time? Maybe every other day or every day. Depends on how free I am and what I'm doing. Well, wasting money that could be going back into nails and pedicures or hair wigs or whatever. What? Y'all are silly. What is my full-time job? This. <laughs> I don't work for anyone. I work for myself. Ooh, okay. Money is the only thing that turns me on. On otherwise, you're pretending to like you. <laughs> okay, Coco. You said soul ties definitely exist, though. Well, think about this. Do you think men go around sleeping with women thinking about soul ties? I'm just going to give y'all a good example because this is how you put yourself in a certain position in life. Men, do y'all go around thinking about soul connections and spiritual connections and all this stuff when you go and sleep with a woman, when you hit? Do y'all go and thinking about that? No, right? When you get up and leave that woman, are you still feeling connected and thinking about her and like there's an attachment and you can't let her go and you can't get over her if she decides to leave you? No, they don't. And I know there's a chemical thing in women that gets released when you sleep with a man that doesn't really happen in men. Right. And so the chemical thing that's released in a woman makes her attached to that man. Right. But when he leaves and he does not return or he does not return your calls and you feel an attachment, it's because you didn't get anything tangible to remember him by, like some money, like some, you know, jewelry. Like a car down payment. <laughs> like all your bills paid. You see? You don't have anything to remember him by. You don't have anything in your bank account stacked up to ensure his return on his investment. Okay? So, if you won't have some soul ties, you need to have some financial ties. Do you understand? <laughs> get you some financial ties before you get some soul ties because they go together okay sprinkle sprinkle a man's soul ties is his money he's heavily investing that's right but dang I spent a lot of money on this girl I'm going to see what she's doing today not, oh, I feel attached to this woman because I slept with her once or twice. Nope. This lady done spent half my monthly income. Let me go see what she's doing. That's that's a man's soul tie, his money. Go get his money. If you want a soul tie, if you want him to come back and see what you're doing, get his money. What are you talking about? A soul tie is a money tie. <laughs> Sprinkle, sprinkle. Get his money here. That's his soul. How 
how to make sure he knows he has competition by looking good, period. If a woman looks good, a man already know other men are going to hollow. Okay? <laughs> and not always texting and answering his phone on the first ring and stuff. Or your phone. His phone call. You know what I mean. I really feel bad that women are so nice. I know, right? Thank you all so much. Exactly what I need to hear. Okay. Soul ties is money ties, baby. <laughs> it's soul ties for a woman, but it's money ties for men. Mm-hmm. My bank account balance is so handsome. Okay. <laughs> You love this hair? Why, thank you. <laughs> so, you know, get your money. Stop being a victim. Stop being so easily tricked and fooled. Get this money, girls. Date or marry based on lifestyle and what you want in life. Okay? As long as you, you, you can get along with the man, great. Men, when they go to choose a spouse or, you know, somebody that they're going to be with, do you think they go and look for the nicest, humblest, best personality woman? No, they go for looks. Unless they're settling and trying to bob the build on her, on her back to go get the woman they want in 15 years. But usually when men settle down... They're going for looks. You got to look good. You got to appeal to them. You got to look good on their arm. You got to be like their status symbol, especially if they're successful. Okay. They go for her money. If they dusty, they want to find one. Even dusty's want a, a, an attractive woman. And they can't get one, they go settle for someone who will let them, you know, sleep on sleep in their couch and eat their food and drink their kids' juice pack. But at the end of the day, they they still say looking at the attractive ones because they that's what they really want. Thank you, Miss Niz. I'm sorry if I didn't say thanks earlier. I just saw that. I don't answer phone calls that I don't recognize, so <laughs> if they can pick they will pick hot over personality anytime that's right do you tell men that they're the, they're the only one yeah no you tell them they're the fifth one tell them they number five baby You're number five, yes. Oh, I'm so lucky to be number five. Well, tell number five what you want for Christmas, darling. You Do you see that going well? You see that going well? No. No, you're number two. I'm number two. No, there's other men, silly. What? <laughs> well, good. They can pay your bills then, darling. I'll see you later. <laughs> Think before you speak. Exactly. This is what must go on in your mind of how this outcome will end up if you tell that man you have other men. <laughs> B 
but you gotta you gotta lie a lot yes you have to lie mm -hmm. don't let a dusty cost you money nope how can i look sexy but i have small breasts um the, do they fit your body are you are you a small petite or thin person just dress that dress the way that it's flattering you know not everybody likes big boobs <laughs> mm -hmm. not everybody likes big boobs Okay. Sure, where can we find men? Do we just go outside? Yep, go outside, run errands, look cute. Do it. Go about your normal day unless, you know, go into a nicer neighborhood where there's money because that's where they'll usually be running their errands if they got money locally. If you live in a bad neighborhood, go to the rich neighborhood. If you live in a, 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 a nice neighborhood, a rich neighborhood, then you just go to the store and go run your errands. Go walk your dog. Go do this. Go do that. You know. Go to the pharmacy. Go get a takeout order. You know, you're going to bump into somebody. <laughs> I get hit on all the time, but I don't wear makeup or dress up. Well, then you must look good, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or you might... I don't know who you're getting hit on by. Do they have money? Because they might just think you're an easy target. <laughs> I guess it all depends, right? They think first. But how? How is? Watch my videos. I tell you all that in almost every video. All right? How to hold off. From sex as long as possible y'all okay here, let me talk about this and i know you're probably new so i'm gonna talk about this sex is not a requirement ladies let, let me repeat this to y'all sex is not a requirement you don't sign a contract when you go out on a date or several dates, there are no contracts that says sex is guaranteed. So how can you hold off on something you never guaranteed or signed a contract for? It's, you're not holding off on a thing, okay? This is where y'all get everything backwards, right here, right here. Y'all act like if a man take you out and stuffs a, a, a few forkfuls of food in your mouth that you gotta lay down. No. <laughs> Y'all act like if he takes you out and gives you a couple hundred dollars, that time is ticking away on, on the due date. No, it's not. Just because he asked for it don't mean a thing. People play the lottery every day. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> if he says, oh, when are we going to do something? Next week. It's always next week. Okay. <laughs> Men will try to test you, test drive you like a car if you let them. That's true. Thank you. So don't ask me, don't ask that question anymore if you have self-value. How do I hold off on sex? Did you sign a contract, ma'am? No? Well, then what are you talking about? <laughs> Mm hmm. How not to suffer if you can't fit into your environment, stand out or go somewhere where you fit in either way. You know what I'm saying?
find an environment where you don't stand out. Men will open, men will, what? Spin without sex facts, that's true. Does Dream stare at other women as long as he wants? I don't care if he does, if he stared at other women. I stare at other men, shoot. And, you know, who cares if they staring at other women? If I'm not with him, he's going to stare at whoever he wants. What am I, what am I going to do about that? I'm going to sit here and suffer because he's looking at something. Oh, woe is me. My man is looking at another human being. Let me poke his eyes out. I feel so insecure he may find something else or someone else with something that I am missing oh woe is me I hope he doesn't realize that I'm insecure <laughs> that's what y'all sound like when y'all worry about other people looking at other people I am so jealous that a man is looking at another woman because I am insecure that he will leave me for one of them because I am not enough, not even to myself, because I am sitting here worrying about an eyeball looking at another human being. Woe is me. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. I, all I'm thinking about is my man looking at another human being. Hmm. So, if you really want to look at a woman without you knowing, he, all he got to do is pick up a phone, baby, and look at a picture on Instagram. And hit that like button and slide in the DMs. If he really wants to look at another woman, he can go to a strip club. If he really wants to go and look and eyeball another woman, he could go on OnlyFans, baby. He can just turn around in a circle outside and open his eyeballs if he really just want to look at another woman. If he want to stare at one, too. So there's nothing you can really do about a man looking at another woman. The only thing you can do is just to look better or just as good as that other woman. Because you already know if he looking at her, then some other man must be what, ladies? Looking at you. Okay? Okay. Why he looking at her? He looking at you. He's looking at her. Some other dude looking at you. <laughs> there you go. If you don't look good, you better get to work. If you want somebody looking at you, okay? <laughs> yeah. You want somebody looking at you the way he, your man looking at her, you better get to work. Compliment another man to him. No, that's petty. Just look good so you know other man gonna look when you walk through. When you with him. <laughs> How do you feel about other women looking at your man? Mm -hmm. Do James mind looking at, do you, what? Do you mind James looking at, I don't even care if he look at whatever, he can look at whatever he want, he a grown man. Thank you, Nene, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, I had to pull over to listen, hey. 
Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. When you make the money in the house, you can do what you want, baby. Okay? When you pay for everything, you can do what you want. You don't have a boss. You understand? I don't care about it enough. You know why? Because I look good. I look fly. I look good. On my mama, on my hood. <laughs> you understand? If you don't understand it, it's a song. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't bother me. Like, why would I don't even think I would care enough to be concerned. Thank you, Cheryl Smith. My daughter is 24. I'm really trying to get these messages through to her. How to how to make her listen to what you are trying to. Or what I'm trying to teach. Okay. Um, if she's 24 and she has not seriously met anyone yet, that will make a good provider husband. Ask her where does she see her life in five to ten years from now. Is she married? Is the man, you know, successful? Can he pay all the bills? Does she have kids yet? Is she raising them? Can she afford to stay home because her husband can afford all the expenses? You know, what type of house does she live in? Does she go on vacation? What kind of clothes does she wear? What neighborhood does she live in? You know, ask her all this and ask her, okay, well, the type of guys that you're dating now, are they the type that can give you this? If the answer is no, then you need to change your type. Or at least their age. <laughs> you just need to break it down to her. Most people just imagine that they're, they're going to have a nice life, but then they're dating Dusty's and that does not equal that. You know, they think the Dusty gonna all of a sudden get hit in the head and get a multi million dollar idea of some type of patent or product, and then all of a sudden, you know, become rich. And he's still he's steady asking his mama for twenty dollars. Y'all, y'all believe in miracles that y'all don't even realize. <laughs> are miracles like I'm dating a dusty but I see myself living in that neighborhood driving that car well how that's gonna happen you gonna have a sugar daddy along with your dusty you're just gonna have a stepdaddy because you know that dusty is your child <laughs> because he act like a child so you plan on having a sugar daddy and a dusty because that's the only way you're gonna get that unless you plan on doing all the work You know, well, we'll make it somehow. I believe in him. He got potential. So does a bum on the street. So does everybody else. Everybody has potential. <laughs> Doesn't mean they're going to do nothing with it. They're going to, they're not going to do anything with that potential. Then what's the use of having it? Mm-hmm. You said, why worry about it? she was man so much? Here's the thing. I don't care enough. Like, do I don't watch it. I think some people are like, you don't mind if James watches porn. I don't mind if anybody watches porn, baby. I don't care unless it's my kids and they're too young for it. Yeah, I don't mind if anybody watch what they want to watch. Okay, I don't mind if anybody has free will, their own brain and mind, and going to do what they're going to do because they are a grown, free person living in this world. I don't care what people do, as long as it's legal and it gets my children. <laughs> okay. Why 
Why does it matter to each of its own right? I don't care what them. Hey, she or she miss your lives. Hey, Brittany Sprinkles, Brittany. Um, do I think feminine men will stay with their 50-50 wives since they want to be taken care of, or do they reform? No, they quit their job, baby. So then they can be 100% zero. Duh. The man will quit his job if he the woman. What you talking about? You gonna be pulling a hundred percent over there? You gonna fake an injury or something? Um, 50-50 men would have a baby if they can avoid it work, <laughs> right? He obsessed with it. Yeah, he's obsessed with it. Uh-huh. Thank you. If a man has money, he can get the girl in the porn in real life. That's right. I can't, <laughs> I can't take care of a man. I have too much ego. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Gia. Porn is a $97 billion industry. Somebody is watching it. Ooh. <laughs> That's true. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I I think it's, it's probably just not normal where, he, where calm, calm is from. Tell him, are you from America? Calm, calm. Because sometimes, you know, people, they get excited about stuff like a Victoria's Secrets catalog. And we'd be like, what's that? Throwing it in the trash. It's like yesterday's new. In some cultures, a, a knee is exciting, y'all. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, a knee. Let me show y'all my knee. A knee. It's a knee, baby. Y'all want to see my boot? Yes. <laughs> I'm in all black. <laughs> this is it, all the fans. Thank you, Melissa. Do you think it turns rich men off for marrying you if you come from a big poor family? First of all, they wouldn't know I came from a big poor family because I wouldn't tell them I came from a big poor family. <laughs> I came from a big poor family. <laughs> they wouldn't know. They would just be like, oh, Oh, this is my mom, this is my dad, this is my family. Oh, by the way, uh, we're not big poor. That's what I was. <laughs> Why do you have to tell them you're big poor? How he gonna know you big poor? Is he gonna like do some background research and look up your family's net value and stuff? Okay, I don't know. Like, what? Men cheat on their wives and stuff constantly, but never worry about karma. We won't get karma for wanting a man who could provide. That's true. You wearing boots too, girl? Like, I think y'all worry too much. And instead of worrying, start thinking about how to lie. <laughs> Whatever you worried about, find a lie for it. Okay? That's how you fix that problem. Oh my gosh, I'm worried about this. Okay, we'll make up a lie about it. Problem solved. Make up a lie about the lie. Make up about make up a lie if you get caught in that lie. And what you gonna say? At the same time as you make up the first lie. Have a backup lie. <laughs> okay. 
Think of two lies and then you'll be fine. Think of a, a lie and then a lie while you lied. So we act broke first meeting. No, you don't act broke ever. Okay. Or you will attract broke. You don't act broke. Let me ask y'all a question. How are you supposed to feel like you're the prize? You're you have high standards. You deserve to date someone who's going to be a provider if you're sitting around acting broke. Does that make any type of sense? You're supposed to act as if you have an, a problem that you are talking about when he asks you how your day was. Then you will mention such problem that only has a financial solution that you don't have the answer to yet. And you give him the opportunity to solve your financial issue. So just like I did with Percy and asked for some new tires earlier. He asked me how my day was. I said, oh, it was okay, except I found out that I need four new tires. And it's so expensive. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, how was your day? Do you understand? This is not acting broke. This is conversation where you mention you need four new tires. They're so expensive. You don't know what you're going to do. And then you say, so how was your day? If this dude really likes you and he wants to impress you, he's going to say, how much them tires? You understand how it works? That's how it works. You don't go around acting broke. You go around and have a conversation. And once that conversation has been heard, then he needs to, you know, take action. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's how you do that. Thank you, Destiny. Sprinkle, sprinkle. There's no, how do you ask a man for money? There's none of that anymore. You don't, there ain't none of that no more. You tell a man about your day and you include some stuff in there that he can solve for you financially. That's it. Hmm. <laughs> Well, how was your day? Oh, it was great. I dropped my phone and cracked it. Oh my gosh, I need a new phone. But I don't want to, I didn't buy the insurance on it. I'm so mad at myself and I hate cracked phones. I almost, I cut my thumb and it was bleeding and I got some, oh my gosh, it was terrible. Well, anyway, I really just need to get, get a new one, but ugh, I hate paying for new phones. Well, I'll buy your phone. Well, how much is it? Thank you, Destiny. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I need Uber Eats money. How can I ask my boyfriend to send me money immediately for food for us? Tell him you out of gas. You ain't got no money in your account or you lost your car. Tell him the cash app. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Cash app. Tell him the cash app you want and you out of gas. You at the gas station on E. And you lost your card and you don't have any form of payment and you can't drive home. Cash app me some money. And there you go, there go your Uber Eats. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Out of gas seem pretty broke. Not for women. Women run out of gas all the time and they got money in their purse. She said she forgot her credit card. She lost her credit card. He knows she ain't broke. That's our boyfriend. There's different scenarios for different cases. So if, if she has a man, she want him to give her Uber Eats money. That's about a tank of gas. I mean, yeah. I left my wallet at home. I left it in a minute. I switched purses. My wallet was in the other purse. I don't have my card. I'm at the gas station out of gas. Almost. I can't drive home. I'm far away. Cash at me some money. You ain't broke. 
You're not even responsible. You just made a mistake when you switch persons. Send me some cash out. Okay. <laughs> How do you accept the money without sounding eager? You don't sound eager when you say thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Uh, you don't know how relieved I am. Thank you so much. Um, you are so sweet. Oh my gosh. No one's ever done anything like this for me before. I owe you one. What can I do as a thank you? Whatever, whatever, whatever. That's how you accept it, by saying thank you, baby. <laughs> I don't see the difference. If you share a financial problem, how is that not being broke? Because he asked you how your day was. And... If you say, oh, I need four new tires, four, you know, tires are so expensive. You know, got to figure that out. It means you don't want to pay for four tires. It doesn't mean you don't have the money. It doesn't mean you're broke. It means you got to figure out. If you want to buy them tires. I don't know, you know, mm -hmm. or roll around on bald tires. You know, women do stupid stuff like that. <laughs> and men, they know how, you know, bad having bald tires are, or bad car parts, and you keep riding on them. It's going to irk them. And they're going to be like, you need some new tires. You can't ride around like that. It's dangerous. And then they're going to offer to pay. Okay. If you ain't broke, you just a bad decision maker at that point. <laughs> oh, her? I did before, and this guy was like, come, let's go to the shop. I'm like, okay. <laughs> What if you are out of your boyfriend's league and the family knows you are with him for the money? Well, they better be happy. Somebody want to be with him. Shoot. <laughs> That's why he went to school to get money. So he could get a cute woman. Not no ugly woman. Right? You think he care what his family think? He happy shoot. He probably show your picture off to everybody. Look, this is this is my girl. Thank you, Marcus Sprinkle Sprinkle. <laughs> so you know, who cares about his what his family think? He ain't finna marry them. He ain't dating his family. What if a man meet, met you with your kids? Do you proceed? Do you not proceed? Um, I would be very cautious of a man who met me with children because that's a red flag, darling. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, yeah, I don't think so. If you coming up to me and, I, and you see my kids, no, we ain't talking. <laughs> the guy don't want a relationship with me. 
They all the time don't call me second day. When we met, they say I'm beautiful, perfect, and then they disappear. I really don't know what to do. Um, it could be something else. You know what I mean? It could be something else. Um, either they can't afford you. Are you... Is it, you live in like, are you in a different country? Are you in this country? Are the guys of the same culture or whatnot? Because it could also be something like that if it's, you know, if it's that. But at the other, you know, on the other hand, they just might not be able to afford you. Okay. They leave if you're not easy, especially dating a lot. Yep. Yeah. If they think it's a real date and they just was looking for some one one night stand, they're gonna not call you back. <laughs> Shira, what can solve this world disease of men cheating? True love would save the world. If men were women and women were men. <laughs> That will that would be the only way to stop them from cheating. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Switch, switch minds. There you go. <laughs> I don't think they they actually they do want to do that. If all these men died and they had a choice and to, to reincarnate as a female or a male, what do you think they're coming back as? That's why there's more women in the world than there are men. <laughs> they choose a woman. I'm coming back as a woman. Forget this. And then the men that are still here. Do you know that there is a larger amount, a large number of females on the planet than there are males? That means every woman is not going to get a man. Da -da 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 -da. That's because they're all the men dying and reincarnating as women. <laughs> Okay. Because they don't want to be men <laughs> anymore. So when they die, he's like, I'm, I'm coming back as a woman. Forget this. <laughs> That's why there's so many women on earth. Did you ever think about it? Because they don't want to be men. Period. And the women, dang sure ain't trying to come back as no men. <laughs> it's worth going to the bar, et cetera, during this time. Is it? If you look good, it's worth going anywhere, darling. <laughs> mm. Why don't they want to be men? They don't love hunting? Nope. I, they tired, I guess. I went on a date with a large, a rich target. He told me to pick the next restaurant and make it expensive as possible. Good for you, girl. And tell him when we're we gonna pick the next, when we're gonna pick the first mall. <laughs> Name a mall instead of a restaurant. See what he's saying. Tell him there's a restaurant in there. And it's expensive because the mall is around it. <laughs> he might find that funny and take you shopping. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's 
It's not a restaurant. That's a mall. There's a restaurant in it, and it's expensive because the mall is around it, and he's going to go take me shopping. <laughs> you don't have to say it like that, but you make it funny. You say you don't care if your friends don't like your sugar daddy relationship. They date losers and bums. Vanity. Okay. That's right. Show them what you get for Christmas. Ask them what they bums got them. <laughs> you say you're from Morocco? Mm hmm. Cool. I need new friends. You do? Yeah. Okay. Good look. Sparkle sparkle. Okay, so I guess I gotta wrap this up. I gotta go in a second. Um is a provider man cheating on his wife if he takes you out on a date. It depends on what the wife defines cheating as <laughs> or he defines cheating as it could be considered cheating but there's different levels of cheating I guess this is mm -hmm. it's just organized what They don't think about the life they want. They only see what the parents could do. Mm -hmm. What are y'all talking about? Religion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does religion got to do with leveling up and getting a man with some money? <laughs> or not choosing to suffer? <laughs> cheating to me if you spend money on another one that's true mm -hmm. especially if you're trying to get it get at her you, <laughs> you need to look as good as the game you're getting oh, all this is void mm -hmm. a lot of women let their inner child take the front seat. They chase men to give them what mommy and daddy didn't. Oh, okay. Thank you, Janine. Hey, Shira, have you read The Esoteric Philosophy of Love and Marriage by Dion Fortune? A lot of what you say is written in this book. I just love how you simplify your wisdom. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. No, I didn't read that, girl, but uh. <laughs> sounds interesting. But no. A lot of this stuff is just common sense, and if you can put any type of spin on it. You can put a spiritual spin on it, a, a gold digging spin on it, a, a whatever type of spin, whatever your target audience is spin. It's the same information. It's just nature. <laughs> but it's a good way to approach the spiritual community if, if you put it in a book like that. Mm -hmm. How to feel pretty when I'm feeling down. Go walk in front of a bunch of men and watch the reaction. Post a picture up somewhere for some thirsty people. I don't know. Like, look good. I remember when I was younger. If I if I had a bad day or something, I like I just go walk into like walk into a place looking good. Like watch all them heads turn. That's that's fun. That's nice. I'll pick you up. <laughs> oh, I don't feel good today. Let me go walk into this place. Let me make an entrance. <laughs> just like the Tupac song start playing. All eyes on me. 
That's my entry song in my head. <laughs> so, that's what you got to do. Huh? I love going to restaurants and getting my meals paid for when I'm down. Yes. I know that's just one of my theme songs when when I, when I walk in somewhere and everybody turn to look. Okay. Um. <laughs> and I walk straight past into the restroom <laughs> to go look at myself <laughs> in the mirror. I'm serious. That's what I used to do. I used to walk in a place. Like a grand entrance. Just walk straight to that bathroom. Look at the mirror. And after they miss me and wonder where I went, I pop back up and they ask me, Can I buy you a drink? What's your name? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> anyway. If a man wants to talk on the phone every night, is he trying to keep tabs on you? Probably, because most men don't like to do that. <laughs> right? You missed the nightlife? It was fun, wasn't it, girl? I have so many good memories. I can relive them and not even have to go back. That's how you get your confidence up. Use those good memories. Be like, do you remember that time you walked into that club and everybody stopped and stared and a perfect song was on for your entry? You remember that time they let you cut in front of that long line and everybody was mad? <laughs> Do you remember that time you met this celebrity? <laughs> this, this, and that. You know, that's why it's good to go out and live and have fun and not worry about some dusty. Because when you get old or older, you're going to need some memories. Mm. <laughs> you said nightlife was cute in the 90s yeah it's crazy to totally change your life gold my old goal was love now it's money yep <laughs> how to make sure to men don't find out about each other when both want exclusivity have a, have a fake job or have a fake duty that you can't be with one at a certain time. <laughs> They'll never find out, do you? Tell them you work 12-hour shifts. And there you go. Um, Always be exclusive, right? But many of us followers don't realize that and just assume the leader is there put by God, etc. Therefore, they are easily brainwashed, right? Um, I don't know. Y'all talking about spirituality and religion. The, the thing is, believe in yourself. And if you if you believe in the Bible or whatever, God say He is within. So if you believe in yourself, you believe in God. Spring, spring. <laughs> there you go. You want this 
wig is on ywigs.com. W, no, it's just the letter Y and then wigs.com. It's, it's listed below, not the wig, but the website uh, is below. And just type in blonde and everything blonde will come up and you'll see me modeling this wig. You'll see my face on it. So I'm modeling the wig on Y wigs. <laughs> And use my coupon code that's in the description bar below. It'll save you ten dollars. Yes. Mm-hmm. I do get a hit. You do get head turns, okay? Sure. If the sugar daddy want to be want to be girlfriend boyfriend it's okay to say i'm not looking for any boyfriend i just want to be sugar no you just lie to him pretend you're their girlfriend that means you get a steady paycheck from him it's called allowance and you don't have to work no more say oh i would love to be your girlfriend i can't i couldn't wait to quit my job this means you automatically assume being his girlfriend means you ain't got to work no more the girlfriend get privileges, baby. Be so excited that he want to be girlfriend and boyfriend. That means something totally different to you. Oh my gosh, really? You're gonna make me your woman? Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm gonna go quit my my job tomorrow. Cause you gonna take care of me, right? That's what girlfriend mean to me. You're taking me off the market, you. That means I ain't finna work. Mm-hmm. Some people think girlfriend is free. Yep. Yeah. Free of not free of not having to work no more. When you say that, he's gonna change his mind real quick if he doesn't want to pay for your entire life. He's gonna say, wait a minute, why are you gonna quit your job? Because you just asked me to be your girlfriend. Well, what does that have to do with it? Don't you want to take care of me? I thought that's what a boyfriend would do for his girlfriend. That's how you know if he's serious or not. When he say, I want you to be my girlfriend, what it really means is I want to sleep with you for free. So that's why you automatically assume that it means he's going to fully take care of you from here on out until however long the relationship lasts. That's why you tell him you're about to quit your job so he can stop you to show you his true intention that he was just trying to sleep with you for free. You see? Then he will say, oh, no, don't quit your job. Then you'll say, well, why not? Don't you want to take care of me? Isn't that what a girlfriend, isn't that what a boyfriend does for his girlfriend? Um, well, well, if, don't worry about it if you don't. I mean, we could just date. I keep my job. Don't worry about it. Basically, you just told him, I ain't finna sleep with you for free. If you want to be my man, you finna pay all these bills because I ain't finna work and be with an old man. You ain't slick. You better make a decision. We can just date and I can have two of you and still don't have to work. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's what you basically just told him. If I can get you, I can get two more. Maybe three. And I still might, I might not even have a job. I just, maybe I'm just trying to see if you're going to pay. <laughs> he doesn't know, but you just basically told him in a roundabout way. Girlfriend means paying all these bills, shopping money, and I ain't working. Okay. I agree with Lolita. Don't let a man talk your ear off. Once he thinks he knows all he needs to know about you, he'll get bored and bounce. That's true. What do you think to make your level up affirmation video? Huh? 
I just the whole video is affirmations. <laughs> Right. Ha ha ha. I was just thinking, what if you don't work already? You can lie and say you work too. 2020 was the year of relate revelations. 2021 will be the year of detoxing. Mm -hmm. Have a good day, Shira. Much appreciated as always. Thank you. Real simple earth, Jada. I appreciate it. All right. I'll see y'all later. Sprinkle, sprinkle, everybody. Thank you for everybody who donated. Y'all hit the like button. I'm going to turn off to the bright light. Y'all hit that like button, please. Thank you. Help a pick me should find the channel by hitting the like button. Do your do your good deed for the day. Everybody do their good deed and hit that thumbs up. Every thumbs up helps this video get suggested to a pick me should. What if you live with a man who do you tell what do you tell the side one that you live with your daddy? I live with my brother, my daddy, my cousin, my gay best friend, something. You have the best turtles. Thank you, girl. So, yeah, the the first 30 to 45 minutes of this video is where all the juicy, you know, information is. I did do a little bit of tough love. If y'all are just tuning in, I did a little bit of tough love. But sometimes women need that truth. And it's better to hear it from someone who is on your team and on your side and got your best interest in mind. So that you can fix it. <laughs> okay. Did I have a miss? I missed your ch super chat. I'm sorry, Lisa. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sometimes they don't show. But I, I'm sorry. I usually read all your questions. I'm sorry. Sprinkle, sprinkle, though. Sometimes they don't show up for some reason. Dwelling in victimhood mentality is not cute. Exactly. That was the moral of the, the video. And I'll tell you how to... Oh, okay, and here's another tip before I go. Pay attention to your... Um, give your Give your kids, especially your daughters, a lot of affection adoration and attention so they don't have to go around looking for it from other people okay sprinkle sprinkle <laughs> <laughs>